Good morning. This is Mike here from Vistra Property Group, and I've created an app just for you so that you, your project will be completely transparent and you will be able to keep track of it at all times. Let me just share my screen and I will walk you through what you will see. This is what your app looks like. You have different tabs that does different function. On the first tab will be your owner information. For some reason, the it does not want to respond here just because I'm doing this video. There we go. And you can see you have your information, property address, along with a copy of your contract that has Appendix B, which is the uh, scope of work. And there could also be another tab here that will say estimate. It depends on the size of the project. When we have meetings, there's a tab for meetings. We will record all of the meetings, the date, who was there, you know, what the agenda is for the meeting. If there's minutes to the meeting, we will put that in here. They might record conversation too. A lot of it will depend. It's good to have a record so we know. We both know exactly where we're going. And there will be project, what they call project jobs. This will be basically an outline and it could be in fair amount of detail as to the jobs that are happening on your project and the timeline to get it complete we'll lay that out here the next tab will be a change order and uh, sometimes the scope quite often the scope of work when they go into it has a tendency to change as we go by so we want to document this and we will be filling out these tabs to make sure who who the owner is, <clears throat> what you know, what the what the the location, what the change that's being requested, the material that that's increased, especially the increased cost in the material, the increase what it does to your timeline, the increased time is going to take. And from there, the owner will either approve, it's either pending, approved, or rejected. And then we will do the same here. And then you have, we can also, when there's a change order, we can completely track the status of that change order to know exactly where we're at. Most of this for the owner, you will be, you, know, you will review it, but your main part will be to approve and reject it here. And as we start doing this, you're going to see on the side where it gives you a timeline of who did what to it. And that whenever you go in and approve, it'll timestamp that it was done by you on this date at this time. And here is the one of the most the mo one of the most important tabs. You have all your uh, different categories here, and this is where you will approve all the different quotations. You can sort these out by, you know, painting. By you can also sort out by the status. What is, you know, what is pending? What is approved? You know where you're going. If you go in and there's quotes for you to approve, well then you sort by pending. So this way you can just quickly go through what the ones you need to review that you haven't approved. You can also change if you go here, change it to a table view. If you prefer a table view rather than the other one, it, this is completely customizable to what you like. Next will be uh, the most important one. I'm sure that you will be tracking. It'll, it'll, this will track your costs live as we get them. Whenever we get an invoice and we pay an invoice, it'll be recorded in here. The invoice number, what, what it was, not necessarily all of the details, what it was, the amount it was, the tax and, and the total amount. And again, the status is pending and progress completed as it's been billed back to you. This is where you can track it also. Once you've paid it, it's complete and paid. But you will you will be able to get a running cost of your project here, which will I'm sure you will appreciate. 
quite often the people during the day, some maybe not quite often, but sometimes they need additional stuff. So the people working on site, this is where they upload a copy of their receipt. Mostly here will be out of pocket. This is where we're gonna put the out of pocket items. <clears throat> and it has the date, you know, the property, the project. I might vary this a little bit to store. And it just it's just a place to upload for us. For your for your purposes, you will find these costs will go from there. You will track all of these, will get input into the into your costing. So you don't have to worry much about this this uh, this tab at all. And I believe this is will get you going. As I said, the most important one will be your costing and your approval, especially your approval, because you need to go in there and you know your kitchen cabinet or whatever whatever the quote is. You know, it'll have the title, it'll have the date, it'll have the supplier. It'll have a short description. It'll have the cost. It'll have where it belongs to, because if it's a big, bigger project, you can sort by by importance. You know, you start with the foundation, then the framing, then the roof, and some of them have different timelines will need to be approved uh, earlier, sooner rather than later. It's the same as in the description, for example, the cabinets, we might say there's a five week delivery or a seven week delivery. You might choose to pay a bit more because the timeline is shorter, or you might choose to pay less because you have more time. Whatever your case is, then you input your decision here if there's notes from either side and typically you will see the, uh, the quote uploaded and a copy of it here which will describe should describe in more detail exactly what you get for your money now if you have any questions please get back to us and we will be more than happy to uh, give you a live demonstration of, uh, of how the system works and and all the the different questions you might have we will be more than happy to uh, answer them Thank you very much and have yourself a great day.